Hi everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. So it is still the same day as the video you saw yesterday. The video you saw yesterday, I was working on amending the soil and planting in my shade garden and that just turned out really, really well. It is a beautiful day. Normally by this time of day, I am too hot and I am going inside to cool down, but I am not ready to go inside yet. It is so gorgeous. It's such a gorgeous, crisp fall day. I still want to stay out here and do some more things. So I figured I would film it. Jason is over here and he is painting. He's finally going to finish painting this area. I say finally because I have been slacking on it. <laughs> that was my plan was to finish this, but it just got too hot with the heat wave. So he's off today. So he's working on that. Uh, Stanley the dog is out with us. I'm just going to get some stuff done. A couple of things that I want to get done um, for the rest of the day. I want to plant this beautiful purple variegated bougainvillea that needs some water really bad right now but <laughs> this one is from my sweet neighbor that passed away this was one of the bougainvillea that she had in her backyard in a pot and I want to plant it over by my fence um, kind of that way you'll see it's always tough to plant bougainvillea because they go into shock really really easily so I'm kind of expecting this one to not be very happy I'm, I have a bunch of other ones from her I think I'm going to leave those in the pots um, and just hook them up to drip but this one I do want to get in the ground because I absolutely love it so I'm going to work on that I want to train my plumbago in my oak tree garden bed and then I just want to clean up just clean up some things I haven't been out here for so long because of the heat wave and so it just it just feels good to be outside so I think I'm going to start with some cleanup and then I'll come back here and plant this Did you all know I had a beautiful landscape rock in here? It just gets covered by this lantana. I think it's coming out. I mean, not I think, it is coming out. It's really beautiful when it's blooming, but it just doesn't get enough sun right here. So I think I can do better. I think I can find something better here. And this is just kind of a lot of work because it just takes over the whole thing. So. I, don't, I think I'll probably wait until I find something to put here and decide what to put here. Um, but yeah, I think this lantana is coming out. Also, what do you all think about the smell of lantana? I can't stand it. It's not the smell of the flowers. It's the smell of the leaves when you like smash them in your hands or cut them. I can't stand that smell. I think it's so gross and I think I'm alone in that. I think a lot of people actually enjoy the smell but I just don't like it and I'm just reminded every time I come and prune this lantana, this is a trailing lantana. I think it in a little, you know, just uh, small amounts is fine but too much is, it's just too much of a smell for me. All right, so coming over here to the side yard, yes, we still need to paint the footer board right here. That looks really bad. Um, so I'm gonna start working over here in the oak tree garden bed, but I wanted to show you all 
Look at my hollyhock. Isn't it beautiful? I didn't think it was gonna bloom. I thought I had lost it to rust, but it's looking pretty good. I think this is the one that I got. Yeah, it's the one that I got from my aunt, my aunt Shelby. She gave me seeds for this one. Um, so it's supposed to be like this, this pink, like really faded pink. It almost looks totally white to me, but that's okay. Beautiful. Yeah, my peonies, not looking good. That one, that one, I think this one got fried from the heat, but that's okay. I'm just gonna keep giving it iron because it obviously has horrible chlorosis. I'll take care of that later. <laughs> so today I want to come, oh look, my Santa Barbara salvia is starting to bloom as well. This plant is amazing, you guys. If you live in a hot environment, this plant will start blooming at this time of year. This is the time that it like shines. When everything else is kind of calming down and winding down, this is when it starts you know, sending out its bloom stalks and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. All right, so I need to cut back my Naked Lady Amaryllis. They are done. They need to be cut back. And then the other thing I want to do is I want to train up my Pombago. I had been waiting to get the fence painted. The fence is now painted, except for this bottom thing, but it will be actually be easier to paint it once I get the Pombago all trimmed up or trained up. So I'm excited to see how hi i can actually get it this was the new one that i had to replace so that one obviously doesn't have a lot of root structure and growth so that's about it for that one but the other ones are you know kind of sprawled all over the ground so i feel like i can get them possibly halfway up the diamonds that'd be really exciting all right let's get going Oh my goodness, doesn't this look fantastic? I am so happy with how this is turning out. So one of you suggested in the comments section that I do this because I had these plumbagos over here in my cottage garden bed and I didn't want them anymore. And then you suggested putting them over here and putting an espalier up. So good job, <laughs> good suggestion. I absolutely love it. I can see it. I can see it growing and getting trained into the diamonds. Yes, it's gonna be kind of some work, but so is all my other espaliers. So I don't care. I love it. I am so happy with it. So the one in the middle died. It didn't, the transplant didn't work. I, I knew that one wasn't going to work. So this is a brand new plant. So that's why it's not as big as the other ones. And that's okay. It will, it will grow. They obviously like being in this area. This is a good spot for them. So I am not worried about it at all. So I cut back my uh, Naked Lady Amaryllis. And then I also kind of cut back some of these pin cushion flowers cleaned up my neighbor's side of the yard not a ton of stuff but just a little bit just to kind of you know 
keep it looking nice. This whole garden bed is supposed to look a little bit natural. You can see all the oak tree leaves and stuff like that. I'm never going to be able to keep up with all of it. And especially since it's almost fall, this oak tree is going to drop all its leaves and it's going to be an absolute mess. <laughs> so I will wait for that to happen. And then one time I'll come through it and I'll rake, you know, most of the leaves off, but I think it's always going to kind of look like this and I'm totally fine with it. I am really happy with how everything is doing. Everything's doing well. I do have a couple casualties like this is a sea lavender casualty and I honestly think it's due to the drippers that I used I used the uh I'm, I'm gonna there's rain bird and rain drip and I'll put on the screen right now which one I like and which one I don't like and every time I use the one I don't like this happens and they don't work and they um malfunction and they die um so that could just be me it could totally just be me but it's just consistently i feel like those i think it's rain drip is the one that doesn't work well and rain bird is the one that does work well uh at least for me so yeah overall i think this is looking really good i am really happy with it now i'm just going to go in my backyard and i'm going to plant that bougainvillea and then i'll be done so the last thing I want to do today, I'm getting pretty tired now, uh, but I really want to get this bougainvillea in. Um, this is a lavender variegated bougainvillea that I got from my neighbor who passed away. This is this bougainvillea is just gorgeous. Yes, it needs water very, very badly. Um, I'm not really good at watering bougainvillea in pots. I'm trying not to overwater it, um, but obviously I underwatered it. So I'm going to get it in the ground and then I'm going to just kind of soak it, give it a really, really good soak and I think it'll appreciate that. I do have this summerific hibiscus ballet slippers. You can barely see it. It's really tiny. Um, then I'm going to have to move. I think I'm just going to move it just right over here. It gets about four feet tall and wide. So it'll kind of come over the pathway like that. Um, I think it'll be really, really pretty. Um, this whole pathway is going to change for, uh, the, gar the garden tour that I'm in. I am in my, uh, local garden tour, um, called the Pence Gallery Garden Tour. It's on May 7th. I'm sure you all have heard me talk about it because I talk about it all the time, but we have to work on this whole pathway because this is going to be an exit route for everybody. So they're going to come in over there, walk around the garden, and then this is going to be the exit. So we have to make this obviously more accessible. This gate is here for the bunny. Uh, we have pool toys. It's, it's an absolute mess. So I'm going to get to that but I think right now planting the bougainvillea right there, I think that will be really pretty. Um, and then just moving the summerific hibiscus right there. So you have to be really careful about uh, planting bougainvillea. They do not like their roots um, messed with at all. Like at all. And some people will even recommend leaving the bougainvillea in the planter pot when you plant it and just cutting out the bottom. I feel like that's a bit excessive. You know, I I don't know. I'm not going to leave a planter pot inside um, in the ground. So I just carefully take it out and, and carefully put it into the hole. Um, yes, it is going to shock, but a bougainvillea is going to shock no matter what. I feel like even if you move it from, you know, that side of the yard to this side of the yard, I feel like it would go into shock. They're just so, so sensitive. So I always tell people when they plant bougainvillea, they say, oh, it's lost all its leaves. What do I do? It's just in shock. Just give it some time. It's just being a drama queen. Um, so this one, I totally expect to be a drama queen and probably lose all its bracts and all its, and a lot of its leaves. And I'm, I'm expecting that and I'm okay with that. So I just wanted to tell you all that. Um, just in case you plant bougainvilleas, don't be surprised if yours goes into shock once you plant it.
Okay, I might have killed this thing. <laughs> it was so rooted into its pot. It had one massive root that was like curled around the pot and I could not for the life of me get it out. And then I had already started, so it was like I had to <laughs> I had to finish and the root ball ended up breaking in half, which is not what you want when you're transplanting a bougainvillea. And the stake broke in half, so it was like falling over me and <laughs> the thorns were poking into me. So yeah that didn't go very well at all but it's in I've got it soaking it's watered I'm just gonna leave it alone for a while and I'm just gonna expect it to look super stressed almost to the point of dead if I killed it I'm sorry but I you know I tried um but I'm just gonna totally leave it I will keep you all updated on how it does but it's definitely gonna go into shock that's for sure here is Jason's progress on the fence. It is looking so good, babe. Thank you. Looking great. So we're almost done over here, and then we have a couple more panels over on this side behind the espalier, so that's going to be some detailed work. So we will get to that. I think I'm done for the day. I have been working my butt off, so I think it's time to take a shower and rest. I have to say, I love days like this. The high today is supposed to be 81. It's usually the high around like two or three o'clock. So we're probably in the seventies right now and it is glorious. So what a fantastic day. And I am so optimistic of more of these days to come. I just love this. It's fall and spring are just wonderful. So I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope it's motivating for you all to get outside and I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today.